um here we see about the metabolism of steroids so in the steroids we have androgens progesterones and estrogen the first category we are going to see is about androgens so androgen we come across with androsterone this is the product we are going to uh, see for the how the metabolism happens so in that the uh, Mm, how this uh, androsterone is uh, produced it is um, uh, from 5 alpha androstein diode uh, it is uh, steroid dehydrogenase steroid 3 uh, sorry steroid uh, dehydrogenase third alpha position so this is the third position and it is alpha position uh, this is a dotted line indicates alpha position 3 alpha hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase you get this so from this uh, <clears throat> uridine glucophosphonyl uh, transferase because oh is transferred with uh, glucuronide molecule so it is uh, ugt U uridine glucuronyl phosphotransferase okay now so this uh, dihydrotestosterone uh, dihydrotestosterone is converted to um, 5 alpha androstein diode by 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase so dehydrogenase so it is um, <clears throat> hydroxyl group is converted to double bond o so double bond o is converted to oh in this case so that is the, the this one and then uh, this 5 uh, alpha dihydrotestosterone dihydrotestosterone so this is uh, uh, converted to Uh, glucuronide conjugation with the help of glucuronyl transferase um, uridine glucuronyl transferase then the same uh, the dihydrotestosterone is converted to uh, androstein diol diol refers to this uh, third position and uh, 17th position oh 17th position oh so then it is glucuronide so glucuronide easily uh, eliminates the compound from the blood stream now the next uh, detailed uh, view of the same uh, structure that is uh, this is the uh, dihydrotestosterone androstein diode androsterone and this above chart is a uh, similar to the previous slide it is similar to the previous uh, explanation happened here that is uh, now estradiol is formed from testosterone testosterone is one androgen androstein diode is another androgen this androsterone is another androgen and uh, dihydrotestosterone is another androgen so many androgens are available and it is uh, uh, the second part of the uh, metabolism is shown here so to get into the dihydrotestosterone so we have 5 alpha reductase so this is the fifth position 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 alpha reductase so after reduction the uh, position of the hydrogen becomes alpha dotted lines so 17 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase beta hydroxy is dehydrogenated okay double bond o okay then <clears throat> it is uh, phi alpha reductase brings about phi alpha androstein diode so 3 alpha hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase phi alpha reductase you get ethiocholanolone then glucuronide so finally it gets eliminated now when this is cytochrome p450 enzyme is used aromatase enzyme then this is aromatized uh, Three, three double bonds then it becomes under reduction you become uh, uh, estradiol so it is uh, again uh, this path and these two are the complete uh, um, metabolism of uh, this particular testosterone complete metabolism what are the all the products what are the possible products actually phi alpha reductase beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase and aromatase so one this is one 
and this is 2 and this is 3 three products are formed from testosterone and from those three products further products are formed uh, so first product we have to discuss is dihydrotestosterone androstenedione dione estradiol these are the three products when testosterone is uh, metabolized okay now then progesterone progesterone is gets converted to pregnenediol and progesterone is converted to hydroxy progesterone 6 alpha hydroxy 20 alpha hydroxy progesterone so these are the, the three metabolic products from progesterone so the name itself indicates phi beta beta is stronger line and the reduction of double bond o to oh then double bond sing double bond is oh is produced here six alpha hydroxy this is first position and this is sixth position dotted line indicates six alpha hydroxy progesterone the same progesterone gets converted to 20 alpha or beta hydroxy progesterone this is uh, uh, 17 18 19 and then 20 so 20 alpha hydroxy or 20 beta hydroxy progesterone so far you are uh, confirm easy understanding they have given the this is cis decal in cis form and this is uh, transform now the metabolism of uh, estrogens so the estrogens are estradiol so from that uh, uh, estriol and estrone are formed so these three drugs are there in our syllabus estriol estradiol and estrone so how it is formed it is uh, a ketonization and this is uh, a hydroxyl group gets ketone so this we shall see the uh, how it is uh, each and every structure is formed in the following slide so these three are drugs present in our syllabus and this is a glucuronide this is glucuronide mighty and this is the other drugs or otherwise other metabolic products of uh, estrogen 2 hydroxy estrone uh, 4 hydroxy estrone 2 methoxy estrone and sodium sulfate ester of estrone so all these things we shall see in the next few slides so the first one is estradiol dehydrogenase dehydrogenase acts on this place so it get estrone uh, 16 alpha hydroxylase this is 16th position and this is 17th position so you get oh oh 3 oh so it is estrogen trialcohol estriol and then dehydrogenase brings about the uh, uh what is that uh, <clears throat> double bond o from this point and the estrone on 16 hydroxylase you get estrone 16 alpha hydroxy estrone this is the first step of estrogen uh, uh, metabolism the next one is uh, uh, 2 4 hydroxy if 2 hydroxylase is used you get uh, this hydroxylase if 4 hydroxylase is used you get 4 hydroxylase so uh, then the estrogen on hydroxylase as uh, you get this 4 hydroxylase 2 hydroxy estrogen if it is 2 4 hydroxy estrogen if it is 4 then O methyl transferase, catechol O methyl transferase becomes methoxy estrogen, methoxy estrogen. So, respective estrogens, uh, methoxy estrogens are formed when catechol O methyl transferase is involved. Then, this is the complete uh, structure of, uh, I mean, all the uh, uh, products that is formed from the estrogen. So, uh, this is a hydroxy estrogen. Um, then uh, estrogen begins 4 hydroxy estrogen so the final product is depurinated estrogen this is a depurinated estrogen product so this you have to write down when the questions are asked about the oxidation and this involved in the um, minor pathway and major pathway so with this uh, we have seen the how the two position or fourth position of the estrogen so is uh, hydroxylated then methyl is transferated 